Hey there folks, Caleb Downing, and today we're gonna go over these glasses right here. I have a clear pair, and I have a, kinda like a sunglasses pair of safety glasses. So let's go over it, let's get into it. All right, this is gonna be very short and simple, and I'm gonna read the name off of here because I'm gonna butcher it, I know I'm gonna butcher it, but you can find these things on Amazon. I'll probably just throw up a picture of it here. But the brand is called X-A-E-G-I-S. Xagis. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to say it, if that's how it's supposed to be pronounced, I'm not exactly sure. But these are some pretty inexpensive iPros, some like 12 to 13-ish bucks, depending on taxes and shipping and just sales and whatnot and stuff. Sub $20 safety glasses, that's what these things are. And I have found that they have actually worked, right? Um, if I haven't said it before, I'm gonna say it now, real quick. Um, these were sent to me, I, they, this company did send me this stuff to look at, so I'm gonna be above board, make sure I let you guys know that, um, but they were sent to me. So if you gotta read what I say with a grain of salt, you go right for it. But as always, we give an honest opinion. And we honestly did use these glasses. As you can see these, hopefully you can see these. Um, I mean, to save my eyes from some splatter and back blast and stuff from suppressed shooting. Generally, whenever I shoot, I shoot suppressed. That creates a lot of extra back pressure in the system, and it shoots a lot of particulates back at your face, right? Especially suppressed pistols. It, it, it'll really work you over if you're not expecting what's going to come back at your face. So make sure you wear iPro. And these did a perfectly, um, perfectly good job at protecting my eyeballs, right? One thing I will say, the only real downside to these that I could find, and it's, it's kind of a downside, but it's also a plus, kind of depending on how you look at it. When you're wearing these, right, um, you have a relatively large open area down here. I mean, I can stick my fingers up and touch my eyeballs, right? So the downside of that is you, it allows, it lets particulates get up into your face if it's coming down from below you, all right? Now, if you're working with tools, like I'm a gunsmith, I do stuff, whatever, um, and you're working with sparks and flying objects coming at your face, be sure to just face whatever it is that you are using, right? It kind of feels a little unnatural. It's kind of like wearing body armor. You don't want to be blading away from somebody with body armor because then they can shoot you here where there is no armor. You want that plate to face them, right? So when that bullet comes and hits your armor, it's going to hit your armor. Kind of same thing with your glasses. You want to face whatever it is that you're working on so that, that when those sparks and little bits and pieces come back at you, right? Even shooting, you wouldn't want to be shooting like this. That in and of itself kind of feels unnatural, but working on stuff, you don't want those particulates, you do want those particulates to come back and straight at you, not at an angle. That's the only kind of downside that I can see to these things, but the pro, it's kind of a, a, a bad and a good thing. The pro thing about it is that allows a good amount of airflow, so you're not gonna be fogging up your glasses near as much as if you had a like a super sealed off system especially in hot climates and whatnot and stuff, or if you're working up a sweat, right, and you're working real hard and it's cold outside, you're gonna create steam. It, there's just nothing you can do about that. And if your whole eyeball system with your safety glasses is all sealed off, you're gonna get steamed up, fogged up glasses, and that's could be a safety issue depending on the line of what you're working on, what you're doing, um, or it could just be straight up annoying, right? So. There's some pros and cons to it. I probably hit that a little bit too hard, some pros and cons to it. But overall for me, I was perfectly fine. Whenever I went out shooting and stuff, especially with these glasses, um, as you can see on here, there's particulates and there's stuff on the glass itself or plastic. Um, it saved my eyeballs. Nothing hit my eyeballs and I was fine. So the proof's in the pudding there for me. So for less than 20 bucks, I think they're a pretty good deal. I honestly do think they're a pretty good deal. If it was me saying it, um, yeah, like I didn't spend my money on it, so I'm not gonna. Def I'm not having to defend a purchase, but I am saying for a sub twenty, for about twenty bucks, you could get two sets of them, right? And and that is good to throw in a range bag, especially if you have a clear set for like those, those overcast days or those times where you don't have a lot of reflective things like snow around you, right? So you want to be able to see a little bit better. And then on those days where you do have a lot of sun, a lot of reflectivity, if that's a word, you know, light coming back at you, some uh, some sunglass versions of these, some darkened version of these uh, would be good for that. So there you go. Take what I say with a grain of salt if you have to. I like them. I'm going to continue using them, continue running them. And if they break... After a few months of use, well, that's only 10 bucks. That's not that big of a deal. Versus if I had some super high-end $100 safety glasses and they got crushed or whatever, well, I'm going to be crying a little bit harder over those glasses that pretty much did the same thing that these guys did. 
but these guys are only like 10 bucks, so there you go. One last thing, these things do come with a little soft shell. It's kind of a soft, hard shell, right? Um, it's a zipper closed um, kind of shell case for it. And so this is nice for keeping in your range bag. It keeps it, it keeps the lenses from getting all scratched up. It kind of has a, a soft inside. So it's gonna keep your lenses from getting all scratched up, which is nice. And it's also gonna kind of keep them from getting all crushed up, as it were. Um, it also comes with a nice little cleaning cloth, which I need to use on this guy, because he's full of gunk. But I wanted to make sure you saw that there was gunk on there so you could see that the glasses were actually working. Um, but there you go. That's it. I'm gonna stop talking about it. These are some glasses from those people, the Exagis, however you say it. Um, hopefully I didn't completely butcher that. And you can find them on Amazon. If I have a link, I'll post a link. If I have a discount code, I'll post it. Not sure if I do, not sure if I don't. Not sure if it's an affiliate link or not, but I'm not trying to make money on it. I'm just giving you guys information. So that's it. Y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate you watching, subscribing, and everything. And hopefully we'll catch you in the next video. See you.